What do you believe happened that night? Oh, I probably know exactly what happened that night. I think O.J. Simpson came over to that house, pulled his Bronco to the rear of the house, came through that walkway and Nicole heard something, or she saw something, and she confronted him on the front steps. And for whatever happened there, we'll never know if there's words exchanged or he simply pushes her or strikes her on the head. But at that point, I think uh, he heard Ron Goldman coming through the front gate, something that he would never be able. You believe she was struck first? She'd have to be, just from what the evidence, the way, it, it, the, way the evidence reads. Mm -hmm. There's one real telling part of the evidence. Ron Goldman's shirt had 25 hairs from Nicole on his chest but there were no hairs from Ron on her body. And that would probably indicate that when he saw her, he ran up to her and cradled her head trying to find out what was wrong with her. I think that's when he was grabbed from the rear by O.J. Simpson, pulled him back into the bushes with his left arm around his throat. And that's probably when the glove was lost. Ron started clawing at his arm. And then he clawed at his head. And, and that's when the cap. hat was lost. Mm -hmm. Did you plant the glove? No, absolutely not. Could you have planted the Absolutely glove? Absolutely impossible. Why did you take the Fifth Amendment when you were asked by uh, Ullman, Detective Furman, did you plant or manufacture any evidence in this case? So well, you were asked, <clears throat> did you plant the glove, and you took the Fifth Amendment? Believe me, that was the toughest thing that I ever did. But he had several questions prior to that, and a lot of people don't understand the Fifth Amendment. It, it's not a pick and choose. It's a yes or a no. You take it or you don't. Once you answer a question, you've opened the door for the rest of the questioning.